film. Oh, go okay. Yes, yeah, it's, right. it's, it's, it's the proof is rejected. Shani Hasram, it is different there in the case discussed by the Bryce, uh, the Ka'am, and Baruch, Yotza, Hamairos. At the conclusion of the morning blessings, one says, Blessed are you, Hashem, who fashions the luminaries. Since at the conclusion he repeats the words, Blessed are you, Hashem, with the correct intention, the blessing is valid notwithstanding his earlier erroneous intent. However, in the case of the blessing, can you see what it says now? Yeah, yeah we're just recording. Where one does not repeat the clause. So I remember for notes. If he began the blessing with intent for wine, perhaps he did not discharge his obligation. Mm. Okay, the Gemara argues that this explanation of the Bryce is not universally acceptable, yeah? Yeah, okay. This fits well according to Rav Dharma who said... Um, <laughs> Are you going to come here again tomorrow? Uh, to come here again tomorrow? Um, maybe, we don't know, we don't know when we're going to meet. <laughs> Kal bracha, she'ein ba haskaras Hashem, ein bracha. Any blessing yet which does not include a mention of the name of Hashem is not a valid blessing. Ah, yes. Shapi, according to this opinion, it fits well that reciting the correct concluding yeah. clause of the Shema blessing is sufficient. For since this clause includes the name of Hashem, it is a valid blessing in its own right. But according to Rabbi Yochanan, who said, any blessing which does not include a mention of Hashem's kingship, kingship is not a valid blessing. What is there to say? According to this opinion, the concluding clause.